<clears throat> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about the Los Angeles Dodgers beat the Minnesota Twins 7-3 to reaction. The Dodgers win the rubber match. They take 2 out of 3 here against Minnesota at home. James Altman, he has been so clutch this year and with bases loaded situations. Hit a game uh, winning grand, grand slam against the Cubs a few weeks ago. Uh, in the n top of the ninth inning, and then in the bottom of the seventh inning, a clutch, clutch grand slam to, from James Altman to take a seventh, pretty much the game-winning grand slam in the bottom of the seventh. He he really struggled the first two games in this series. Well, the first game, he only got one at-bat, pinch hitting. The second game, um, he went 0-4, uh, but he was 2-4 for four in this game with four RBIs. And that clutch grand slam. I mean, he had his, he's had a few rough games, but I still think he's going to be a future outfielder of this team. And he's been still really good this year. Um, but Dustin May was the big story early in this game. Uh, he exited the game after only one inning pitched. Uh, he had a flexor strain, I believe, and he had right elbow pain. I was like, oh, this ain't good, because I felt like, oh my god, it's going to be a... Tommy John, he's going to have Tommy John because that's the same elbow I remember a few years ago, or not too long ago, coming off Tommy John. But luckily he avoided that. I know he's still going to miss some time, but luckily it's not going to be the whole season. But it's going to be uh, time to be determined uh, on how much time uh, Dustin May misses, and we don't know a return time yet for Dustin May. But luckily he avoided major injury. But it, he makes it after one inning where he struck out two. So he, he had a good first inning, and unfortunately he had to get taken out. Dylan Covey, I thought pitched really well despite uh, the two solo homers to Buxton and Gallo. Those are just two hitters there with power. Some mistake pitches that the Twins uh, hit over the wall, but that's his MLB debut for uh, Dylan Covey. And I thought he pitched well. Five hits, only two runs. He struck out three over four innings of work. We desperately needed those four innings. Because we've used our bullpen a lot. Uh, Victor Gonzalez got out of the bases loaded jam. With zero outs, bases loaded. Victor Gonzalez has been really, has been excellent this year. That's a trustable 6th, 7th inning bullpen arm right there that we have for this year. With, with like, Caleb Ferguson and Evan Phillips. Maybe Dylan Covey can be become a part of that. We'll see. Um, but he got out of the bases loaded jam, struck out one, and then got the got one to fly out to end the inning. Caleb Ferguson pitched 0 0.2 innings, gave up two hits, but he struck out two as well. So we were just really clutch. The pitching was really good in this game. Outside of the two solo homers, I thought our pitching was excellent. And I just thought her pitching was excellent the whole series, except Almonte. Our, our bullpen was really, outside of that, our bullpen I thought was really good this week. And the offense uh, provided uh, nine hits for seven runs. Po Twins, eight hits, three runs. It's, it's, it was the opposite of last night's game. The Twins really struggled with runners in scoring position. Two of their three runs came off two solo homers. They really struggled with theirs in scoring position. So, but the Dodgers didn't in this game. They didn't. Uh, Muncy or uh, Freeman drove in Betts for the first run of the game, and the bottom of the third with a sack fly after Betts got a leadoff triple. But the Twins come back to tie it four uh, two one or one to one. And then, but then the Dodgers take back the lead total one. So it was, it was just a really good back and forth game until the bottom of the seventh inning where James Altman just completely broke this game open with a grand slam. But the Twins did fight hard in this series. They gave us a really tough series. But I just felt like after the back grand slam, this game was over, and it was. But our bullpen, I thought, pitched well. Uh, Bruce Nargrader also threw 1.1 innings of scoreless relief. So our bullpen's low-key underrated, because Gonzalez, Ferguson, Graterall, Phillips, Justin Brule, 
We still got some good arms in that bullpen. But the Dodgers come from behind and take a two out of three against the Twins. They improved to 28 and 16. Um, in the and they're I think four four or five games ahead in the division. The Twins are up to twenty four and twenty, but they gave us a tough series. This Twins team has it has potential. For the Twins, Gallus one for four, one RBI. Krill, Kirilov two for four. Correa one for four. He really struggled in this series to Carlos Correa. He's really struggled just off season. So the Giants and Mets probably uh, both avoided getting him. Correa was one for four. Buxton one for three. One walk, one RBI. Uh, the two solo homers. Planco was one for three. Larnick and Gordon were each over two. And Castro and Vasquez were 0 for four. They had a few pinch hitters. Solano was uh, 0 for two. Farmer was 0 for two. So, yeah, just the bases load situation was just bad. They let the bases load there with no outs. That's really what cost them. Uh, Sonny Gray. 4.0 innings pitched, 5 hits, turned runs, 3 walks, 4 strikeouts. The Dodgers got to Sonny Gray in this game. So he came to this game with a 1.3 something ERA or something. But the Dodgers, I thought, had a good good, good control at the plate against Sonny Gray. He got 2 runs off him, 3 walks, drove up his pitch count to where he, where he can only throw 4 innings. Giovanni Moran, 1.0 innings, 1 hit, 1 strikeout. Jose De Leon, 1.2 innings pitched, two hits, two earned runs, three strikeouts. I don't think he had any earned runs until, for some reason, Ro uh, Rocco took him out, or Rocco, whoever their manager's name is. And then Emilio Pagan is just not that good at this point in his career. I don't know why they put in Emilio Pagan here in a high leverage situation, but he gave up that one hit, he walked two, three earned runs. See, it, it's just one million Pagan's day. I don't even know why they put him in. In a high lever situation. It's, yeah, it's kind of dumb. But, their managers doesn't seem to be the smartest sometimes. But the Dodgers took advantage. Uh, took advantage of it. But they might have to DFA Pagan. I don't know why Rocco always puts in Pagan in high level situations. See, he's been good all year, but he hasn't been good. He just hasn't been the worst reliever in the league. But he's just not been good. It should have been maybe a series. It could have been a series win for him. Two games on bullpen decisions from the Twins. They easily could have won this series, but the Dodgers found a way to get a 7-3 victory out, out by the hands of James Altman's Grand Slam. Betts was 2-4 for with 1 RBI on a walk. Freeman 1-4 with four, 1 RBI. Smith 2-4. for four. Getting a chance to be the best hitting catcher in baseball this year. Uh, Muncy 1-2, for two, 2 walks. So a great game for Muncy. Got on base 3 times. Vargas 1-3, for three, a walk on RBI. Altman 2-4, for four, 4 RBIs. Hayward, I just don't know if really know if he should just continue being the line of it. Uh, Taylor and Thompson each over for four. Thompson's Trace Thompson's literally useless. Outside that game winning walk, he's real in that three run home three run home three game home three run three homer game this year, he's really not nothing, but But good win for the Dodgers. Um they take two out of three here in LA against Minnesota. They start a three game set or your or a four game set against the St. Louis Cardinals starting tomorrow. Uh, the Cardinals have been playing a lot better baseball recently. So that's going to be a tough series. They've been playing a lot better baseball. I know they're 17 and 26, but they started off really slow, but they've started to pick it up. They got a, a, a series sweep versus the Red Sox. And they have they took the first game against the Brewers. They lost the second game, and they could win the third game, but we'll see. But it's going to be a, a tough series there. In St. Louis against a team that started to figure it out. But yeah, um, that's all I'm saying. Till next time, I have a lot. Peace.